Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on The Slanted Lens, we're going to take a look at the different diffusion material that Roscoe makes. We're going to see how soft and how hard the different diffusion materials are. We're going to see on a human face just how they wrap around and what they do not just to the face, but to the background as well. Let's go ahead and get started and see what we can do. Diffusion has been a critical part of lighting in the movie and video world for years. In the beginning, it was sheets or a shower curtain. Lights need to be softened and shaped in a way that diffusion can only do. We moved from hard light in the 50s, that kind of film noir look, to a softer light that demanded diffusion. I've been using Roscoe On Light Diffusion for 25 years. It really has a great look. So let's look at some of the different diffusion materials out there, how they react to a human face, and just give a good introduction idea to what diffusion does. We have set up our 2K aimed directly at our talent. It's very bright and needs to be diffused. Here's our talent with no diffusion. You know, this is just a straight 2K aimed at her. It's very hard, it's not very flattering. Our starting exposure is 1 50th of a second and an aperture of 4.5. Our first diffusion is a Roscoe 1 half white diffusion. It's a 3027. We've lost about one full stop with the addition of this diffusion. The shadows on her face are more open. The background is more open as the diffusion has spread the light on the set acting like a softbox. You know, this has very similar characteristics to a tough white diffusion, but is a little less dense. We then change to a Roscoe full white diffusion, 3026. It's a dense diffusion and creates a very soft look. We've lost one full stop. It's very pretty though, it's a nice look. It's a moderate diffuser with properties that are very similar to tracing paper. This is going to create a very even field of soft light. It's not going to mess with your color temperature. It's not going to shift your color temperature. It's a tough heat resistant base so you can stick it right on those hot lights and it works great. We then changed to a tough Rolux. We lost one and two thirds stop. Being so dense makes it so you can put several lights behind it and it will create one light source. It's great for doing that. If you want to put two or three instruments behind this one piece of diffusion, it'll give you a direct one light look because of the density. We then changed to a Roscoe Opal Frost. We lost one and one third stops. This is a very popular medium diffuser, probably one of my very favorite. This is not too soft. We see shadow on her arms and on her face. We then changed to a Roscoe Grid Cloth. We've lost two full stops. Look at the transition on her arms. It's very soft and open. This is the softest diffusion that we've seen so far. This is a great diffuser that can be sewn and grommeted can be used as a tinting material. You can use it for silks and things. It's similar to the material they use on creating flags. We then changed to a Roscoe Light Grid Cloth. We're going to lose about a stop and a half. There's now more shadow on her arms. It still gives a very soft look. This also can be sewn and grommeted and be used for tinting material. We then changed to a Roscoe Silent 1 4th Grid Cloth. We lost one stop. This has the same look as a 1 4th Grid Cloth, number 3034 but it's quiet because it doesn't have the heat resistant coating on it that gives you that kind of flapping noise in the wind. This also comes in very wide rolls, 60 inches wide by 20 feet long so it can be sewn together and used as silks. I have found this to be very informative. Different diffusion material create different looks. Some are more open than others but need more light. Others are a bit more hard but need less light. It's always a balancing act. If you're working with continuous light, you really need to have diffusion material. I would get at least two or three types of diffusers to keep in my lighting kit when on location, especially when shooting with hot lights. That being said, I use them with strobes as well as hot lights all the time. My favorites are the Roscoe Opal Frost, the 3026 Tough White Diffusion, the 3027 1 half Tough White. I hope this has been helpful. I really wanted to give you a taste of what's out there in the diffusion world and help you to make decisions about what you want to put in your personal lighting kit. So go out there, keep those cameras rolling, and keep on clicking.